is the Labour MP for Norwich South. He abstained from voting in the winter fuel allowance um, row in Parliament. And I think that's more cowardly than people who voted. It is. It, it's incredibly cowardly. And this is what I tell everyone. When you vote for someone, you're not voting for the person, you are voting for the party. Yeah. Right? If you vote for, a, I don't know, a, a Labour MP in one area, right? If that Labour MP wants to do something that's in the best interest of the, the people, in, people in his constituents, mm. he's not going to do that. He's going to do whatever the leader of that political party tells him to do. Yeah. And then that le leader of that political party doesn't make all the decisions. His decisions come from the UN, NATO, the World Economic Forum, uh, United Nations, etc. Mm. So ultimately, I don't want to say it, but voting, I, I think voting works. I think voting is brilliant. But there's too many there's too many moving parts. Too many moving parts to it. Yeah, yeah, there is. It's like I, you know, I I live in the Boston Skegness sort of area, so I've got Richard Tice now as my MP for reform. Yeah, which is great. And I start work early, six o'clock in the morning. So on that day of the last general election, I delayed me start. So that I was first in the queue for the for the voting. Yeah. I went straight in, made my cross for the Reform Party, walked out, and the second bloke was just walking up the path. And as I was driving away from the place, everybody else was sort of coming in. And it was, you know, the, the amount of people that voted Reform in that area was phenomenal. In, which is why Richard Tice, you know, is the MP for that that area but but boston skegness is fiercely um what's the word you know they're very pro-english and they're very um vocal when they see immigrants moving into the area yeah. and there's always no end of protest up in skegness you know and it's always about migrants in holiday camps and things like this, you know, and there's two or three hotels in Boston that are full of, of immigrants, etc. Yeah. yeah, and that's largely why everybody, I think, voted for reform. Because during the local elections last year, there was three Conservative MPs or three Conservative councillors. They all got taken down and replaced with three independent councillors, which... which you know, you could see that the writing was on the wall then for a Conservative win come the general election. Yeah. You know, and, and, you know, Richard Tice won it, which is which is great. You know, it's, well, I don't see him, do you? I never see him unless you go and, you know, write to him or go and go to one of his sort of surgeries, as they yeah. call them. But, um, you know, it was, it was great. But, the, but at the same time, I was... I'd, return to work and I'm saying to people don't forget to go and put your vote in today oh I'm not going to bother oh I'm not going to bother I'm not going to bother because people are so I think fed up to the back teeth of all these moving parts as you call them within the election process that they were saying you know what's the point if you vote for Labour that's one cheek of of the arse, and but he, and if you vote conservative, that's the other one, and they've got. That's not it, though. That's not the only two parties. No, there. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I was saying to people, I was saying, well, go and vote for reform.